I made a point of embracing Shopify and using it as an additional income stream for my print on demand business this year. Not only that, but I realized using AI, it's so easy to launch new Shopify stores that look high end, that look professional. And my favorite part, you can do it and pay only a dollar per month for the first three months thanks to a promotion Shopify is running. And if you're new to Shopify, I'll put my link in the description so you can take advantage of this offer. Now, I wanna show you in this video, not only how I launched a professional Shopify store in under an hour using ChatGPT and other AI, but I also set up all automated marketing that's gonna increase my sales, number one, by helping me capture emails and then market to my new potential customers but also set up email automations for things like abandoned cart sequences, uh, thank you emails, post order, and general welcome series emails that will offer discounts and whatnot that are gonna lead to additional sales. I'm gonna cover all this in today's video, so let's get right to it. First, I wanted to share, this is the demo store that I set up for this video specifically. It's called Bubble Beasts, and I set this up in under an hour using AI, ChatGPT for things like the branding, the store name, the uh, messaging, etc. I also use software called My Designs to stock it with print on demand products in 15 minutes or less. My Designs makes it incredibly easy to create print on demand products in bulk, including doing things like all of your designs using AI. You can create your mock ups in bulk. You can upload custom mockups, by the way, as you can kind of see here. Uh, you can push to multiple products. So I had t-shirts, I've got mugs. Uh, I did my stickers here through my designs. It's as simple as either creating using AI or dragging and dropping multiple files at a time into the upload. And then from there, you can also do all of your SEO using their vision AI. So in one click, you tell it the product type, select from this list, and it will read the designs and do all of your title description tags for you. So it took me 15 minutes or less to publish all the products to my Bubble Beast shop. And by the way, I've got a full step-by-step -step My Designs tutorial video right here in the YouTube cards and I'll link to it in the description of this video. With the assistance of ChatGPT, I was able to launch this entire website in under an hour using the base default Shopify theme. But ChatGPT assisted with the creation of the name, the logo, the color scheme, the banner image that you see here, and I'm able to use it to customize the messaging. Let me show you an example. So this is the chat that I started with when I launched this store. I said, <clears throat> I need to launch a new Shopify print on demand store. Help me create a kawaii animal themed fun name for it, please, and a logo if possible. And it gave us 10 different names to choose from. I ended up with bubble beasts, which makes sense with the like boba, bubbles, kawaii animals theme. Uh, and then it even gives you a top pick, Mochi Paws, but I know some of these were actually taken when I tried to use them as my Shopify store name. Uh, the logo concept, you can see it came up with a few different ones. I wasn't in love with them. I think ultimately I ended up using the text from this one and I made some slight edits to it and ultimately that became the logo for Bubble Beast. I think I added some boba eyeballs to the lowercase b's there. Uh, so I did do a couple modifications. Uh, after that, I moved on to the SEO, the search engine optimization. You can see it gave me the meta title. That's what shows up in the big blue clickable link in Google and underneath there, the meta description. Uh, and again, with one chat, so it understood what we're doing. We're just building and building and building and ChatGPT is better understanding our project. So you can see the meta, the meta title was Bubble Beast, Kawaii animal stickers, shirts and mugs, meta description, shop Bubble Beast for adorable Kawaii animal stickers shirts and mugs, cute, colorful designs that make every day brighter, perfect gifts too. Uh, and then I essentially gave it some more images of my products and said, create me a heading for the website homepage inspired by cute kawaii animal stickers that you see here. And I said, oh, sorry, I meant an image. So then I did a little bit more of a description. I need a website banner with happy people smiling, having fun, wearing, wearing kawaii hats and shirts. And it gave me this image, guys. So, I mean, it did a really good job. Imagine having to go and like, do a, a photo shoot for the day just to get the, an image that probably wouldn't even be this good for your website. So I absolutely love that. And you can see here that it looks great at the top of my website along with the logo up there. I mean, I couldn't have done a better job myself. And here's a quick example of how easy it is to edit your Shopify store theme with something from ChatGPT. So I'm gonna grab this uh, welcome message here 
close out the chat GPT chat because you see at the top of the website, it says, welcome to our store. Well, I can go over here to the back end of my Shopify store, customize the theme. And up here at the top, it has the announcement. Well, I'm just going to click where it has that text, delete and paste straight out of chat GPT. Now it says, meet your new Kawaii besties, stickers, shirts, and more. I hit save. And then within seconds, I can go back to the website, do a refresh, and you can see the new message up there. It is truly that simple now. In the digital age, if you're running an online business, building a rapport with your customers and establishing touch points where you can communicate is a must. Enter Omnisend. This is the best way that I've found to conduct marketing and establish those touch points with your customers for your Shopify store out of all of them that are available. It's called Omnisend Email Marketing and SMS. I'm going to go ahead and install it in just one click. By the way, you can get started with Omnisend for free right now using the link in the description to begin communicating with your customers using email and SMS marketing. So go ahead, create your free account after you install the app. It should take less than a minute. Then you'll see your dashboard. It'll look something like this. Now, the first thing I'm going to recommend you do is go to store settings on the left hand side, then go to brand assets and then go to manage brand assets here. You're going to want to upload a logo and then set all of your colors based on your brand's primary color scheme. And you can actually preview it in real time on the right hand side. This way, Omnisend will set up all the default messaging and templates, email templates, et cetera, web forms. They'll set it up all for you using your brand's theme. So you set it once here and you don't have to set it again. It's really cool. It saves you a ton of time and it makes things look professional right out of the box. So take a minute to import your brand assets. You can even set your fonts and add your social media links if you'd like. One thing I love about Omnisend is they set up goals for us. So if we can just follow the goals that it lays out in front of us and it guides us through the whole process and Omnisend has their own AI, they have an Omnisend AI right there that assists us through the whole process. Guys, you're going to be blown away at how easy this is. And you have my video tutorial that you're currently watching. So the first thing that it recommends is collect subscribers on your website. This is especially important. Like I said, you need to create those touch points so you can communicate with them. Now, Omnisend created a form for me by default. I'm going to show you it right here. Uh, I went ahead and added my logo. So by default, it looked like this. And what I did to customize it is I went to the left hand side over here. I clicked image and then I just drag it and drop it in the form. Now you can see that it's got image selected and now behind me, it allows me to upload an image. So I went ahead and added my logo and it's just that simple. If you want to link it to your website, you can add the link right here. Uh, I don't think it's that important since they're already on my website though. So I just need to collect their email. I also gave Omnisend my branding colors. That was part of the goals. And you know, when I set up the whole wizard and it put the whole form in my colors, including the button, including the text, etc. Now here's where I AB tested it. Uh, you can see that it says get 10% off your first order. And what I ended up doing was coming up here and I have two versions that I set up. The default one that Omnisend created is 10% off, but I created version B and that is get free shipping on your first order. So I can see what's the most effective way of collecting email addresses, especially like organic traffic's one thing. You should be collecting emails either way, but if you're spending money running paid ads to drive traffic to your website, you really want to be dialed in and grabbing as many emails as you can with the most effective offer. And the cool thing about this offer 10% or free shipping is that it only comes into play if they make an order. And if they make an order, well, we're doing something right. You know what I mean? So whether it's free shipping or 10% and you can also change 10% to any percent off you want. Uh, I just wanted to make that clear that this is essentially how it works. And Omnisend sets this up by default down here at the bottom. You can go between the steps. So here's step two. They have the offer of joining for SMS text message updates, which why not guys, again, establish as many touch points as possible. Next up is the success message. Thanks for signing up. You'll find the 10% discount on your inbox. And then if they're already subscribed, they'll see this and check it out guys. That's how easy it is to set up your web form to collect email addresses, which Omnisend will store 
in their database for us that we can email blast. They facilitate all this. They facilitate collecting SMS. It does not get easier than this. And in terms of price effectiveness, I'm on the free plan. So everything you're watching me do, you can do for free. So let's head back to the dashboard and reconvene with the goals. The next goal is to welcome new subscribers with an email. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, you can click the button right there. It'll take you right to automations, but I need to go to the navigation, click automation, and then click welcome. So you can see here, they've already set up the automation for us. We don't need to do anything, but if you want to study how you can set up your own custom automations in OmniSend, well, they do show you. So what this is doing is waiting to see if these criteria are met. Channel subscribed to is email and subscription method is sign up form that we just created and first subscription is true. So if they're already subscribed, they're not going to get a new discount code for 10% off or free shipping. So all those have to be met and by default, you know, they would be if it's a new subscriber. So what I wanted to show you is down here, there is one thing that I prefer to change. It says wait one minute. So by default, when I initially set this up, it was gonna wait a minute to send the email, whereas for me, I'd rather it be uh, instantaneous. So I'm gonna change this dropdown from one minute to immediately. Uh, beyond that, guys, we can go down here to the actual email. You can change the subject line, you can change the pre-header. Uh, you can go and actually edit the email right here. So you can click edit content and it'll take you to the email editor where we have the ability to do that. So you can add your logo, your branding, change the color scheme, all those things. But if you set your branding up in OmniSend, it should pull them all in automatically and then set, you know, the footer background color, the button background color, uh, et cetera. By the way, it'll also generate the discount code for you, a functional discount code that works with your Shopify store. That's why you cannot beat this system, guys. I'm a web developer by trade, or at least I was initially out of college. I know how much time in, in and believe me, there's so much more that goes into the back end and the security side and all these things you don't consider payment processing. The fact that we can launch a Shopify store and then add OmniSend is just incredible. And everybody should take advantage of that in my opinion. Now I want to show you how to test that this is all working. So I went to the contact section in OmniSend where you can find all of your subscribers. I went ahead and subscribed already. I want to show you how to test those. So I'm going to select and I'm going to delete myself from the contacts. Next, I'm going to go back to automation. I'm going to double check that our welcome series here is enabled and you can actually see under status that it is disabled. So I'm going to open it up and then up here in the top right corner, I'm going to hit start workflow. You can see that now the workflow is successfully enabled. Now we can test and see if it works. What do you say we give it a test run? So I pull up the website, the email form triggers. I'm going to go ahead and subscribe and see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and skip the SMS because it's not required. We can configure it to be required if we want. Okay, I get the thanks for signing up. Check your inbox. And here in Gmail, we can see on the promotions tab, we got the email, welcome the bubble beasts. Here's a 10% off code. You can change all the messaging, by the way, in the email template. They even have an OmniSend AI to help you with your messaging. Just wanted to make sure I mentioned that. You can see the 10% off in our branding and the code is right here. You can click this, it'll take you to Shopify where we can redeem the code at checkout. No extra inputs or intervention needed from us the webmaster. How cool is that? If we head back to the dashboard, you can see the last goal that I need to complete is re-engage visitors who viewed products, but they might leave without checking out and completing their purchase. These are prime people to market to because they already showed intent to buy by adding to cart. So I can click that button, set up product reminder. And again, we're here on the automation screen, but I don't need to do anything. You can see that the trigger is set by default to viewed product, but if you're interested, check out how uh, OmniSense already set up all these other triggers. Added product to cart, clicked message, entered segment, exited segment, marked messages spam, message delivery failed. You can set up automations for so many things in OmniSense. You're not sacrificing any functionality. Uh, I'm not a complete email marketing expert, but like I said, I grew up in this world. I worked for eight years as a web developer, so I'm not a stranger to it either at the same time. And you can see over here, the type of message that you want to interact with your end, you know, potential customer ranges from email to SMS to push notification. Like you'll never find an easier way to do this and execute it effectively than with OmniSend. So this one says customers enter the workflow when they view a specific product. Customers exit the workflow when they place an order. So if they viewed it, but did not place an order, now we can let it wait for two hours in case they actually have the intent to buy, but you don't want to force you know, the messaging on them. And then you can trigger an email. And again, this assumes that we 
know who they are and that we have their email address, which won't always be the case, but that's the importance of that email pop-up trigger to try to get their email. And then behind the scenes as a developer, you can do things like start a session where you essentially have them ID'd without them maybe even knowing you have them ID'd kind of deal. Um, so again, it's, it's nothing, <laughs> nothing new guys, but, um, if you know who the person is and you can establish that line of communication and you've got the inclination that they like this specific product, you can leverage OmniSend to send them a message about that product, potentially attach a discount code or whatever it takes to get them across the finish line and get them to check out and make the purchase. We've talked about how to set up automated communications, but we haven't talked about how to do instantaneous communication with your subscriber base. So here in campaigns, you can do just that. I'm gonna go ahead and click create campaigns. You can see that we can do emails. We can do email with AB testing. We can do SMS and we can do push notifications that most web browsers support. I'm gonna go ahead and do email to stay on brand. Now here you can write a subject line or you can see that OmniSend AI is available to assist with that. So I'd like to run a 50% off Halloween campaign and let's see what it comes up with for us. We don't even have to write the subject line. There you go, 50% off Halloween fun awaits you. In one click, AI has written our subject line. The sender name, Bubble Beasts, uh, because I don't have the paid plan, because I'm showing you how to do this all on a free plan, we're using the OmniSend default email address, but if you upgrade, you can do that. Um, you can add your domain, etc. Now, you have the ability to set up a pre-header as well, which is what you see in the little preview, but it doesn't show in the actual email. Next, you have the ability to select email templates that are all pre-made and professional quality that are gonna look good on desktop, tablet, mobile, etc. Trust me, I know the headache that these developers probably had to go through. Also, you can sort by goal. So if you just wanna offer a discount, click that. You wanna offer a sale, click that. How about we use this uh, template right here, offering 30% off. I can go ahead and customize it, put it in my brand's colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click into the background. And if I, oh, I realized I'm blocking. Sorry about that, let me move myself. I can go ahead and change the background color as we go. It brings in the branded colors. If you added it, as I mentioned, you should right when you install OmniSend. Uh, next, you can go ahead and replace the product. So I click the roller skates and I've already got a few products that I've uploaded in the past to prep for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those. Okay, and before you know it, you've got a branded email and we're ready to test. The last step is just choose your recipients. Now, since we're just kicking off a new store, we're just gonna most likely leave it on all subscribers and kick off this campaign. This is perfect for like Halloween, Christmas, like themed campaigns, but it could also just be, hey, it's Friday and I wanna give everybody 25% off. Whatever reason you wanna send an email blast out, you know, it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind or insight in mind. If you wanna make sales, you need to be in communication with your customers. So I'm gonna go ahead and click review campaign. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click send now in the bottom right corner. And wouldn't you know it, there's our email right there. Bubble Beasts, meet your new Kawaii besties, stickers, shirts, and more. I think it looks super professional. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. We've got our stickers, we've got our Corgi stickers, and we've got our branding. I mean, guys, how quick and easy was that? You're not gonna find anything like what OmniSend offers, especially in the free tier. I didn't have to pay for anything I showed you in this video, but as your shop grows, you are gonna wanna probably upgrade so that you get the full features unlocked and then you're gonna wanna leverage them. So use the link below to sign up for OmniSend and save 30% with code RyanHoag30 so you can start communicating with your customers today. And it's never been more important in the digital age, if you're running your own Shopify store, you're building the organic traffic, you've done the hard work, maybe you're sending paid traffic, you wanna build those communication lines with your customers, bring them back to the store, entice them with discounts, it's a win-win. They're getting products they want, you're making a little bit of money and you can automate most of this marketing thanks to OmniSend, guys. So, hey, I dropped links to everything from this video in the description, including to OmniSend and Shopify where you can get started for just a dollar. So, there's really no excuse, have fun with it. I love this, I did this whole project over a weekend and had so much fun. I can't wait to roll it out to my real Shopify stores right after this. But guys, thank you for watching till the end. Please hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you soon with another new video.